Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com. And today we're taking a look at a very very interesting piece of software. It's uh, called Splashtop. And what Splashtop does, it uh, sends the image of your computer, your desktop or laptop, to your iOS device, iPhone or iPod Touch. There's also an iPad version, so there's two apps. They do the same thing, but you know, remember, it's not it's not a universal app. Um, so anyway, we're going to start it up. Even though the iPhone one will probably even run on the desktop, this just won't be as sharp. So if you're on an iPad, get the make sure you get the iPad version. Now the desktop so uh, software that you run on your computer is the same. So you can install it, install their server software on your computer, and just get the right app for your right for the right iOS device, and you'll be fine. Now here are the gestures. For like, if you want to do a click, is it's a, a tap. If you want to hold, uh, right click. You're going to hold down. Um, drag is two fingers. Uh, drag scrolling is three, and then um, a toggle uh, trackpad uh, mode is two taps. So you have to remember this stuff over here. Uh, most of the time, I'm just you know either. Um, you know, moving the website around like this, I'm pitching the zoom, or if I do need to drag, I just go like this, and as you can see, it's very easy to drag. So anyway, let's play the Avengers trailer, and this is Hulu.com, and I'm just going to load this, just for copyright reasons, I don't want to get flagged for anything, and... Oh, okay, it's, it's that um, entertainment show. But as you can see, it runs perfectly fine. There's no lag or at all. And what we will do is now go into... Oops. Full screen mode. And we're going to shrink it down so it fits perfectly. And... As you can see, it's playing perfectly fine. There's no lag. There's no frame drops. It just plays really nice. <clears throat> so anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to exit this. It actually opened up another window for the ad. So anyway, we're going to just close this tab over here. We'll close that. And we're just going to go back to regular Hulu. <clears throat> and that works out really nice. So what we're going to do is you know, scroll. As you can see right now, we do have, if that can get in focus, uh, here's you know, you know, all my programs. I'm actually running Sony Vegas in Camtasia Studio. So here we go. And the reason why my, the pinching and zooming is a little weird for me because I'm putting my arm around the camcorder. Uh, so here is Sony Vegas. And that is Sony Vegas. Um, I probably wouldn't really do editing on an iPod Touch, but you could probably do it if you need to. One of the nice things about it is if if you uh, needed to walk away from Sony Vegas and you needed to render something, maybe you want to go out on your back porch or whatever you want to do, you need to upload a video to YouTube, you're waiting for it to render, you could actually Wait for it to render, and then upload it directly to YouTube because um, you know you can just drag it right into the regular browser. I use uh, Firefox and Chrome. Uh, I use the other browsers also, so it does have a very uh, nice feature for that. If so, you, you know if it's going to take you a half an hour to render maybe a 1080p file that's 10, 15 minutes or something like that, and you want to go on your porch, you don't want to you know walk all the way upstairs just to do all that, all this stuff. You can do it right from your iOS device. And uh, we'll take a look at Camtasia Studio. And as you can see, this is Camtasia Studio. All the features are here. I will say this: on the iPad, you really don't even have to do any zooming. It works out really, really well. Um, but I'm very, very surprised in how well it works on my iPod Touch. I mean, the pinching and zooming works beautiful. Um, I'm never f really frustrated, you know, trying to maneuver 
around and splash uh, splash top it does work really nice um, but I'm just saying it, you know the iPad one is you know a little you know, a little easier if you had to do like a little Sony Vegas or Campagia Studio uh, but that is my Campagia Studio um, but anyway um, here is Firefox and here's a popular site that I go to it's a kind of a comedy photography not really photography but still images Emior and I can um, go to YouTube here's my YouTube account all my stuff right here you know and um, all the all these stuff right here so you know I'll play a, a YouTube video just for a second and here we go as you can see this is playing out pretty well with absolutely no problems and it um, works pretty well so we're gonna close that for a second to stop that I don't want to get flagged or anything but um, here we go and uh, we'll just Let's see you need if you need to type something in you can just go like this and um, we'll type it in and type in I G N and we'll go dot com and I'll make sure I <coughs> and here we have IGN dot com this is the full entire desktop experience so we can scroll, scroll around like this um, you know if we need to scroll up we just use two fingers and there's a lot of benefits for having the full desktop experience on your iOS device and I've run into this problem you know every now and then that there'll be a, a flash video from IGN and you won't be able to play it and then you're going to need an alternative as of right now I feel that splash top is the best one but remember splash top you need to be running their software on your computer so basically what happens is your own computer is the cloud computer uh, for your iOS device there are other cloud devices where there's a cloud server someplace around the world they render the uh, the information for you and then stream it back to your iOS device. They're very good alternatives. Um, however, Splash Dot, I feel, Splash Top, I feel is the best one. Just because, I mean, literally, my laptop is in the next room. I mean, it's probably about 20 feet away from me. And I'm also running a wireless N router. So, I mean, I'm having really good connections. Even though my old Linksys router was a um, G router. It, this ran still really, really well. I was very surprised on how uh, well it ran even on an old router. I was a little worried about you know pinging and sending you know you know an image back and you know the iOS device sending in you know data back. And the router had taken that and the program had a Re, you know reanalyze whatever you know the matrix whatever but it runs really well and that router my old router is a Linksys from 2005 or 2006 It's a very old router and this software ran extremely well um, it runs a little I, I feel there's a little bit little tiny bit less lag on my end router but going back again, I, like I said, my old Chi router was really good. I mean, you really had to, like, um, the only time I really felt there was a little, little, little bit of lag was maybe when I was playing Angry Birds on Chrome. There is a Chrome version of Angry Birds, which is free, and that's interacting in real time when you're pulling the uh, the rubber band on the on the Angry Birds but still even on the even on that uh, router it was still very playable there wasn't like it was choppy or horrible or anything it was just you could tell it wasn't the same as playing like the official Angry Birds app but overall I think for desktop work web browsing all the regular things I mean I wouldn't play um, 
maybe Unreal Tournament or something on uh, Splash Top. But, I mean, you could probably play uh, World of Warcraft or slower games like that where it's, you know, um, you know, not like a, a high-end first-person shooter. But this is a really amazing application. And um, let me see if I can find a video. You know, let's just play the IGN video right here. And here we go. I'm just going to play a second of it. And I'm going to pinch to zoom. Oops. And here we go. <clears throat> as you can see, I'm just going to lower this down just a little bit. Um, and as you can see, it plays perfectly well. Um, really check out this application. It is an amazing application. It gives you the best flash experience possible. Now, another thing that I really do like about this this browser I mean well it's not a browser I was going to say it was a browser but the best thing about this splash top technology is that one we already know even Adobe has said that they are not going to support flash for any mobile devices anymore so what's the problem with that that means there's no more flash support for Android devices there's no more flash support for BlackBerry devices. And of course, there never really was the, any official um, uh, flash support for iOS devices. Um, however, with Splash Top, you get the real flash experience. Every time Adobe has a flash update, you update it on the desktop, and then you can use it on your iOS device. You can get perfect, absolutely perfect flash experience. Uh, so it's it's a really nice. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am to have an application that runs this good, guys. So once again, this is MP4Podcast.com signing out. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Also, I do want to say I will be reviewing the desktop version on my iPad channel. Uh, it, the name of the channel is New uh, iPad Channel. Um, I'll leave a link to that channel in the description box of this video in case you want to see uh, Flashtop running on the iPad. Also, this company has released another application for Windows 8 um, uh, slates. So basically, you your iPad turns into a Windows slate. And that's really good for me because, <laughs> tell you the truth, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a, a Windows slate uh, channel where I can review Windows slate eight apps and I'm gonna review them on my iPad right now Windows Slate tablets are very very expensive there are a few um, I want to say somewhat affordable ones around six maybe around five six there's only two models and the rest of them are like over a thousand dollars or maybe nine hundred dollars and right now tell you the truth there's not really a lot for Windows Slate but I am very interested in it and I'm gonna be able to play with it so I'm gonna leave the, the link for this per, uh, app in the description box, both um, iPhone and iPod Touch one. The iPad one will be there as well. The company's um, link so you can get the desktop software will also be in the description box. And also the link to my iPad channel. So once again, guys, this is mp4podcast.com signing out. You guys have a good one. Take care, guys. Later. Bye.